This CoreCon training video is the first in a series covering the different features that fall under CoreCon's HR module. In this training video, we're going to cover the different settings that will prepare you to start entering time and expenses. This video does not cover employee profile setup or rate setup. It also will not cover the employee miscellaneous expenses. Those subjects will be covered in separate training videos. Corcon groups these types of transactions together because they share a common workflow approval process. Corcon's human resource or HR module allows Corcon subscribers to record labor time cards, labor job cost tracking, and several accrued costs. Miscellaneous expenses can be used to record employee out of pocket expenses or expenses for reimbursement. It can also be used to record corporate credit cards and corporate debit card charges. Labor costs are recorded at the prime contract level applied to both a cost budget in dollar form and in labor hour form. Labor costs can also be exported to several integrated accounting software or they can be exported to a spreadsheet to be sent to a third-party payroll processor. There's a few things to consider before you begin entering new employees and labor time cards. To see these, we encourage you to go to the global settings option and then to feature settings and then to time and expenses. The first option is whether to mark imported time cards as pending. CoreCon recommends that this setting remain checked. Time cards can be entered manually in CoreCon or imported from Microsoft Excel. In the latter scenario, these time cards can either be marked pending or approved upon import. The next option is to show only cost codes with labor hour budgets when entering labor time cards. If this remains checked, only job cost codes that have a hour budget greater than zero will appear as an option on the labor time card form. Hour budgets can be entered in the prime contract or on approved change orders. The next option does the same thing with equipment time cards. This is the same as the option above for equipment hour budgets and time cards. The next option is the first day of the week. The labor time card data entry screen will utilize this property when setting the first day of the week. When looking at a weekly time card, the day that appears in this option will show as the first or left hand column. Labor time cards can be entered individually or as a crew. If you wish to establish field crews for labor time card entry, select yes. Quarkon also allows you to use a clock in or clock out feature for labor time cards and equipment time cards. This is similar to a time clock feature. If you wish to use this, select yes. If you do select the clock in clock out feature, you'll also have the option to track breaks clocking in and out for breaks, use geofencing. Geofencing is a virtual perimeter around the project address to indicate if clock in and out locations were done within an acceptable distance. When users clock in and clock out in CoreCon, the system will use the browser's IP address to determine the location. This is less accurate than a mobile device's GPS chip which is used in CoreCon's mobile app. The next option is the geofencing units. The option is to select miles or kilometers. And you also have the option to use the clock in clock out feature for crews as well. The next option is departments. Departments are set up for labor time cards only. These do not affect other modules or other job cost. These are sometimes required by third-party payroll processors and will also show up on the export for that purpose. The next subject is payroll items. There may be some payroll items suggested in your software if you're just logging in for the first time. You can edit these by selecting the yellow edit button, by adding new payroll items, or deleting existing. Payroll items are required for establishing employee cost and billing rates. 
and are typically identical to those listed in your accounting system. They may include items such as regular time, overtime, vacation time, sick time, etc. Note that labor rates are not established in these global settings. The next option is payroll burden. When setting up employee payroll rates, there are three rates that need to be entered. The base cost, the burden cost rate, and the bill rate. The total cost rate would be equal to the base cost plus the burden cost rate and would typically be less than the bill rate. The burden cost rate can be entered manually, like the other rates, or calculated automatically by using a payroll burden, which acts as templates. In this case, you'll want to create those items that are typically a cost of the employer above the gross rate paid to an employee. You may need to add multiple rates depending on tiers of benefits, but other things such as the employer's share of taxes, union contribution, benefit contributions, holiday pay, or sick pay accrual. To edit payroll burdens, select the yellow pencil or edit button and add to add new payroll items or delete existing. The next setting also relates to labor time cards and that is workers compensation codes. Workers compensation codes are established for tracking the different types of work employees perform. We recommend you use the code and description on your insurance premium usually quoted annually. When setting up CORCON or an accounting system, it's very important that the proper workers' compensation codes are established in the system and later referenced on time cards. This will provide management the ability to generate summary reports by these workers' compensation codes that correlate to the workers' compensation policies when the corporation is set up for renewal. In CORCON, each workers' compensation code can include a burden adjustment that is based on a percentage or dollar markup on the base hourly cost rate. It's important to remember that similar to payroll items, workers' compensation codes are usually identical to those in your accounting system. Also, referencing a workers' compensation code is optional on labor time card entry forms. As mentioned earlier in this video, this is first of several videos covering human resources, labor time cards, and miscellaneous expenses. If you'd like to know more about the subjects covered in this training video, we encourage you to go to the Knowledge Base articles under the Corcon Browser Solution down to Human Resources. The information covered in this training video, as well as additional and more detailed information, can be found and will prove to be helpful.